Yeah, so we got to the forest plot part 7 and if you have missed or you didn't see the other parts I they're gonna be in the description section with the links to each step so go and watch them they're gonna tell you step by step of how to do a meta analysis or meta aggression in R so now we're gonna go from this part then we're gonna go to panel plot and then fail sip and and then we're gonna go after that to categorical data and then moderators and other parts of the meta analysis so in the previous and part I believe part 6 we talked about how to get um, a combined effect size for all studies or average effect size for all studies right now we want to talk about this part part 7 let me copy it and tell you what you need to do so all you need to do to get the forest plot which is a graphical summary so all you need to do is symbol just write the word forest and you're gonna have a uh, multiple so I just want forest and I know all the data have been if you have watched part 6 you're gonna know that all they have been stored in one variable to get the average effect size of all the studies so basically store this and this one and then click control enter once you do that you're gonna see it's gonna make this one a little bigger so you could see that on my screen yeah so I do have a summary so I have seven studies uh, in my data set so study one study two so for each one I have the effect size and I do have the confidence interval so basically this one is the effect size and then this one is confidence intervals and this is the summary of the study so basically the more I believe to the center the more is gonna be um, I'm not sure like the outcome or the effect to the center the more is gonna be have a zero effect um, and the ones that are on the right side so the right side positive studies so this is positive outcome and as you can see from the data study 7 is negative so basically this one is negative so the left is negative the right is positive and we have this how long is the confidence interval so this one is very big as you can see this line means that the lower and this one is the biggest so this one is small so the closest the better I believe so so this is read more about the forest plot so you can understand it's kind of like quick look at the data and you know shows you very hey I know by just looking at this one that I have more positive uh, outcomes in each study and I have more um, like less negative have a small that are have a zero effect yeah so if you want to 
see other uh, when I learn more about uh, R make sure to subscribe and see you in another tutorial thank you for watching